Hi everyone. By now, you might be getting a little tired of seeing me on your computer screens, but I couldn't let another day go by without reaching out to our membership, given the activities over the weekend, not just here in the United States, but around the world. Today, my message is complicated, but also quite simple. As a communications leader, if you haven't already reached out to your leadership and spoken with them about the need to put out a message of compassion and concern about the divisiveness around us, I implore you to do so. This isn't just a social movement unfolding on our streets and on our screens. This is a very human moment and I believe that your employees are scared, regardless of their ethnicity or gender. Most of us don't really understand what's going on, but we know it isn't right. People need to hear from their leadership that what is happening now matters. And while this started because of the very disturbing police brutality that we've seen on TV lately, make no mistake, this is so much bigger than police brutality. This is about a group of people being made to feel every day that their life is not as important or valued as someone whose skin color is different from theirs, lighter than theirs, whiter than theirs. I don't know if you can imagine what it feels like to wake up every day Know that you have done most everything you can to be viewed as equal, while deep down inside knowing that you are going to encounter people who will never see you as equal. Maybe that person isn't important in your life, but just maybe that person is someone who controls not just your future like a boss, but maybe it's someone who impacts and in some cases can make a decision about whether you live or die. For the most part, I have had a great life that I've worked hard for, but a day doesn't go by that I don't worry about finding myself in a situation where the person I encounter doesn't see an educated professional woman in front of them but rather just another black face whose life isn't all that important. And I'm confident that my black and brown brothers feel this tenfold. For many people, George Floyd was the tipping point, but he wasn't for me. It was Amy Cooper to see and realize the confidence that she had that by openly lying would guarantee her protection and would guarantee Christian Cooper anything but safety. I watched that video and started to shake my head and then I started to cry. I've always asked myself, when are things going to change? When will they get better? But I don't anymore. Instead, I ask myself, if they were, will ever change. That's the world we live in now. Right now, this is an important opportunity for CCOs to lead, for your coworkers to lead, and a time that CEOs must lead. People are scared. I'm scared. When people are this frightened, bringing their authentic self to work, being productive, and pretending like everything is okay are the last things on their minds. When you look like me and my brown and black brothers and sisters, the only thing on your mind is will you be allowed to live? When you walk out the door each day, will you return and will you be the same as when you left? That is the burden that we carry every day. Please do something. Thank you.